How you guys and girls doing today? Blackwood Game here. And in this video, I'm talking about Overwatch Talk, Sombra Meta, and why Sombra is extremely useful now. Let's do it. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? Why do you nigga capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage? How y'all doing? Like I always say, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and like as it really helps. And I appreciate all the support I get from y'all. Also, please excuse the horrible somber gameplay you're about to see because I do not play at all. Now, with that being said, let's get straight into the tips. So the very first tip that I want to give y'all, the very first thing that I want to say and the main reason why Sombra is really effective in the meta now is because of all the tank nerfs that we're getting. I mean, think about it. And they're not like really like straight up tank nerfs, but they're like like off tank nerfs, for example, Anna. Her biotic grenade effect duration has been reduced from five seconds to four seconds, and the healing boost on allies has been decreased by 50%. That is huge, especially for tanks. You know, tanks can't move around that much, so they rely on a lot of, of healing, and they rely on shields and things like that. So without that huge sudden boost of health, tanks are pretty much done for, and that's why people are saying the tank meta is done. And it also says that the healing boost from Anna's biotic grenade was proving too much healing, especially when used on targets with large health pools. So in that case, Sombra is perfect because she just can't put a whole entire two or three clips into a tank uh, and a throw a grenade and then the tanks be healed completely. It's going to take some time. Another one is this is the, this is still on the same tip. It's talking about uh, Diva now. Diva's armor often made her feel like she had no no weaknesses, even against heroes that are typically effective against bigger targets. I'm reading uh, from the uh, developer comments. This is the chances of her primary fire will result in small overall decrease in damage, but her fusing cannon should feel more consistent. So, like they did with her, is that they decided to increase her health to from 200 to 400, but decrease her armor from 400 to 200, and her bullet damage has been decreased from three to two. Y'all, that's huge. That is like amazing. So now Diva is not going to be like a, a pretty much a Reinhardt. Like you can see on some maps that you wouldn't even need a Reinhardt. You just have like a Diva consuming all that damage. Last but not least, Roadhog, which is a major thing. People don't sit there and think and look at that hook and think it's like such a big problem. The top world player Evermore and other players use Roadhog and they would take advantage of that corner. I mean, now you have to be, of course, the uh, hook pulls you straight toward him instead of being pulled behind a corner or pulled to the side. But that means you also might must be straight in front of that person. That means that if you're in straight fire, like you're in straight in a straight line with the person that you're hooking, that means that the team can see you now. It's no longer you're going to be behind a corner and be able to hook somebody behind a corner and just pull them behind it. And you're safe. You're going to actually have to be in front, which is going to leave you vulnerable to enemy attack. So that's a huge thing. All these tanks, every single tank is getting these huge nerfs that don't look so huge when you look at them. But I mean, this just destroys them. Plus, on top of that, of course, Sombra's hack cooldown has been reduced from 12 seconds to 8 seconds. And time it takes to hack a target has been decreased from 1 second to 0 0.8 seconds. This is amazing. The second reason and tip that I have to give you on why I think Sombra should be used is because of her mobility. Her mobility and her um, way to get around enemy tanks now is no longer going to be having to run around a wall and end up getting hooked behind it or Diva chasing you down and mowing you down. Of course, tanks are still going to be valuable, but with her invisibility, her quick hack, which tanks won't be able to respond to if they're too slow, and her damage, not, not she has less damage than Tracer, but I mean, if she's, you know, doing consistent damage to tanks, they just can't handle it or can't get away because, or they can't heal up because of their speed and they can't take advantage of it she'll decimate any tank and the last tip that i have to give y'all is her ult y'all this ult dare i say it matter of fact you know what it's true her ult is two times more powerful than zarya's if you look at Zarya's ult, yes, it does pull everybody in and it allows you to combo, but it can be countered easily. And if there's a Roadhog caught up in the ult, he can just ult and counter me and push me back. If there's a Reaper up in the ult and I try to go in with a Zarya combo, he can just he can just death blossom and just kill everybody around him. You can still ult when you're in a Zarya ult, so it doesn't matter. Or Lucille can drop the beat or Zenyatta can transcend this. With Sombra... She not only locks up your abilities with her ultimate, but she also locks up your special. I mean, y'all, that is unstoppable. Azaria 
and sombra combo is literally unstoppable. You cannot get out of that. I cannot dash out of that. No character can all they can't use. They can't use anything. You, that is the only combo in the game that I can think of at this moment. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is the only combo. Zarya and Sombra are the only combo that I can think of that is completely unstoppable. Because if Zarya gravitons a whole six stack, let's say, and then if they try to counter it or something, and Sombra just decides to pop her ult and EMP everybody, and they can't do anything, they're literally setting targets, and nobody can do anything except use their melee attacks or their uh, projectiles. And of course, that can be countered with a nano Reinhardt or a nano anybody, because that won't be doing enough damage. Y'all, it's the perfect combination. And y'all, those are the three main reasons and tips why I think that Sombra should really be in the meta now. I mean, with her speed, her invisibility to get behind the enemy, her damage that she can put out to get her ult real fast, and her EMP, and with tanks being nerfed the way they are and they're not in the meta anymore, this is perfect. I'll be doing a video later on why you should start seeing a whole bunch of Genjis now. Of course, I know all y'all Genji fans are going to love this one, but I will catch y'all in the next one. BBG. Ow. Let's get Wiz Khalifa high, yeah, get meditated over medicated.